lose as well. You don't want to play Ragnarok, the guy who's you know played a couple of games compared to Fiala, who has multiple finals under his belt. But let's see who it's going to be here for CJ anyway for this game up against Rogan Echo. It's going to be Hero. As predicted, best choice here, I think. 21 and 10, number one in wins in Pro League this season. He was tied for number one last season as well. This guy is an incredible player. Yeah, he's, he's done fantastic, but uh, he did get beat down yesterday by Rogue in a very interesting game. Let's see if Rogue has another style ready for him, or is he going to play a more standard sort of uh, composition this time? I kind of get the impression like Rogue can only do that build once before Hero is going to be expecting it and hard counter it. Yep. Rogue here asking is young. He says, I want to be the main guy for this movie this time around. Uh, I forget what the name of that is, but he's essentially telling Hero, hey, I want to be the guy in the spotlight this time around. You know, give me some some space. Let me win this one, young. But uh, Hero's not going to have any of that for sure. No way. He, he's going to have to go storm if he wants those gifts. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some gifts out of the Protoss this time around. Hero, his matchup against Zerg is definitely not his strongest one, and also possibly his weakest one at 4-4, uh, four and four, considering his win record for this season of Pro League. Uh, this, this is a really stressful time here. If Hero loses, man, it's almost all over. Biel with the weak ZBZ, the last man standing is going to have to get multiple kills. Yep. This is such an important game. Well, guys, let's jump into this game four on Echo between Hero and Rogue again now. Up here in the top left, in the yellow, the Protoss player from CJ Entis. It is Hero. And down to the bottom right, in green, the player who won yesterday in the ace match versus this very same player. It is Rogue, which in air green wings. Maruta, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that verb is. I'm like, I don't know that one. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Nothing interesting here, guys. Just the piling in the low ground. <laughs> yeah, no scouting behind it either. That's kind of interesting. That's it's gonna be a greedy one. No way Rogue goes for an early pool. Well, it's already too late, but I just don't I just wouldn't imagine he would do that versus Hero. I think he wants to play for the late game again. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he tried the same sort of style as yesterday. Just look for what Hero's got planned and drone up. Wait for Hero to go for that three base sort of attack. Just have whatever he needs ready. This is kind of scary to me that Hero plays so similarly almost every Whoa. time. That is really cool. That's a drawing, wow. guys. I think he <laughs> must have done it like last night or something. It says, it says he's summoning CJ to Latte World. <laughs> nice. I don't know if that's going to work out. Ooh, Forge this time there. That's a little bit different. Yeah, and he's saying the probe across. Maybe trying to catch him with a little bit of a delayed timing here. Here comes the hatch. Scouts the probe coming across. Still makes the hatchery. Definitely needs to send a drone down to make sure. There's a second overlord here too. There comes the drone as well. So he is going to be very well prepared for this. I don't think Hero can uh, really go for anything. He's got a lot see. of money. Let's see what he can uh, possibly do if he wants he's to commit going, to this. He's going to at least put the one pile on down. Yeah, he's going to at least make sure the drones are pulled for this. Uh, we'll see how much he commits to it there. If we see a probe go down for the Nexus, it's just going to be a fake. Bringing four drones down, five in total. Just going to let it finish. Mm. But I don't think you can commit to cannons when uh, there's this many drones down. There's a Nexus probe at home as well waiting for this. He's saving up there. It looks like he's fishing for it. He's just waiting for the right position. But look at these blocks. Oh, there, oh, it, is. there it is indeed. Three cannons. Wow. Four cannons. Wow. This is, you have to take these cannon rushes seriously because stuff like this is going to happen. More drones coming down. He's another pylon. Oh. He gate blocks it. <laughs> going He's going to block it off. It might be the best choice here. There's gonna another cannon. It. More yeah, he more just cannons. wanted to block it to This is crazy. More time. I actually think this might not work. There's like so many drones. These cannons are all in the yellow uh, already. They're going to finish up. He's going to have to get out of here. Finish. He cannot kill them all, I don't think. Oh. There we go. Getting some damage done oh, to the drone. So close. So close, I think he might just barely hold these cannons, but the rest of them may finish. Three more. 
He's down now oh to boy. 11 turns already. You know what? I think he I think he actually wins. There's a double cancel on the extra cannons. His base is forfeit. He's down to 10 harvesters now. He's and sending drones across the map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about well, that. He's making 10 lanes at the same time. He needs a cannon back at home to defend against this. Well, he's got one on the way. And he has a block as well. He should be okay here. He can just make an extra pylon as well to finish the wall if he needs to. This is what... Hero needed to do in this game is just something like this. I love seeing him finally change things up. There There's the is. full wall. Oh. He's going to drone drill it, though. No, no luck there. Not going to happen. If he, he could mineral walk through and maybe just get in and somehow, you know, do something in the main, but. Well, there's always going to be just probes there waiting as well, and it's a much higher number, so. I think he's pretty much just ran out of options now. He's, he's going to try with the lings, but. There's nothing you can do. Down seven harvesters, down a base. It's not a tight wall. He's going to see these lings, though. He should, right? If he Wait. sees them, he just tight walls and it's over. I don't even know if the lings will matter if they get into the main base because you, you can just drone, uh, probe drill sort of thing. <laughs> it's 12 lings, but still, yeah, I mean. <laughs> and he could just <laughs> evacuate to the natural. Look at Hero Man. He's like trolling so hard. This is who who's in a better position today? Today's rogue versus hero, or yesterday's symbol versus hero? Like which Zerg had a better chance versus <laughs> hero killing with a cannon rush? We see it two games in a row here versus these Zergs. Yeah, just a little too greedy here. This is really cool though to see hero prepare because that was a really well practiced build to know exactly how to do that and know what timing to place it. Tight wall, sorry. Two cannons as well. Taking it very seriously. It's going to probe scout to see if there's even a third base. There isn't yet. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is worth playing out for Rick. He is so far behind. It is the same situation as Symbol. It's like, you're dead, but you're going to play it out. I don't think there's any way he can come back from here. Well, Hero is going to see that Nexus. Oh, no, actually, since this is the natural. Which means he can help protect this pylon for a warp gate timing or something like that. Um, checks this. He's like, oh, you just built that. Okay. It's like, really? You're gonna you're gonna play this game out. You're gonna do that. I think we just see like an eight gate timing once again. This is the same situation, to be honest. Like get that plus one, make that ton of gates, and just go for it. It's gonna be fantastic here as well. I mean, even if Rogue was in a decent position, this isn't a bad map to do it on. Just yeah. uh, a lot of ramps. You can get up into that third base, block the Zerg out. You can force field the natural. It's it's kind of a bit funky here. It's a, it's a very ugly situation for Rig. Like, maybe he's got a contingency plan in this kind of situation, but half his drones were across the map trying to push the natural as well. So. Look at this important scout, too. No gas. Oh, okay. Sending the mothership core across the map gets plus one. In fact, there's he can actually start harassing these transferring drones of this mothership core. Uh, and once warp get research finishes, I don't think they can kill this pylon. The pylon is just going to be there. He can warp in sentries and force seal the ramp. Oh, this is just... It's just, this game is simply over. I don't even know how else to He's put it. He's going to need a magical hold somehow here. A hero's going to need to mess up. I believe this queen is doing circles around the hatchery to avoid the zealot. He wants to get one more inject off maybe before she goes down. There, there it is. is. And, uh, and there you go. No more injects here. And actually the zealot, if it gets its shields back, can actually fight these lings quite well in this location. Not going to get the shields back, but again, warp gate research is getting closer. It is going to be the eight gate follow up this time with plus one and a forward pile on right at your natural. Is that a support crawler? Uh, yeah, yep. that's what he needs <laughs> to defend right uh, now. I guess you might as well, right? <laughs> Losing multiple drones to that mothership core. It's all just coming up to this, you know. Warp. Gate is finishing up. That's plus one finishing up. There's your uh, hero hallucinated Colossus that he loves for vision. I think it's <laughs> going to be for more than vision this time. We actually saw him yesterday, which uh, got a lot of attention. Hallucinate Immortals for his push to tank the spines. Yeah, that was great. It did a lot of work as well. And Rogue didn't re or not Rogue. A symbol did not retarget. Here's his warp ends at the pile. I was talking about. There's no answer for this. There's no speed, and he knows it because he saw there were no gases in the main base. Are we making? 14 lings now while that Roach Warren finishes up here. And we'll see what he can do, but he's fighting against plus one Zealot, so lings are just going to be redundant in this kind of fight, especially with Stalkers here to kite as well. <laughs> he uh, He's actually supply blocked during all of this because the Overlords were targeted. It's time to Slow type out. CT. Rogue will go down a hero. A very nice cannon rush on that map. We said he had to do something different, and that was definitely something out of the ordinary. Yeah, that's, that's certainly one way to get rid of the, one of the most dangerous players on the team. Cheese him out nice and quick. 
You know he like, likes to play gritty, likes to go to the late game, so do something a little bit different. That was really cool. That makes me really happy. You know, we see his players like Hero, Innovation, um, trying to think of other players off the top of my head, but those two are the ones that most come to mind. Is his players do almost the same thing almost every time, and they're so good at it that they mostly win with it, right? They've got some of the best wins in Pro League. But sometimes you get countered in a match like this, and Hero prepared really well for this match, really well executed cannon rush, and I'm happy for it. And Rogue just barely not able to hold there. I actually, for a moment there, before I looked at your computer, I was like, does he have enough to kill this? <laughs> like, it was, the cans were getting yellow, but just barely not. Yeah, well, I, I promise you we're going to see here, uh, Maru come out next to fight mm -hmm. here. It's going to be on Terraform. Yeah, this is about the e easiest lineup you can get for Jenner at this point. Uh, you don't want to send out SOS in a PvP against Hero. You want to save him for Bjell. He won against him yesterday. He can do it again on either Cactus Valley or Bonnie Research Station. I think SOS is fine for both. Whereas uh, Maru is fantastic against, uh, against Burdos. He's beaten Hero before, and I think it just makes sense. Yeah, I think so. I think Maru, the best pick here. Let's see if he can make it happen. Yeah, well, guys, we're going to take a quick 10-minute break. We'll be right back.